Hello and welcome back to the KC Glassworks YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to create lead lines in Photoshop. What I mean by that is uh, sort of guidelines for whenever you're assembling your leaded stained glass panel. And it's going to end up looking something like this. The things that you are going to need are Photoshop, you're going to need some sort of digital pattern that you created, um, and then you're also going to need to know your lead size, so the width of your lead. And then also an optional thing that you can have is dowel calipers. Um, obviously these are not um, necessary. As long as you know what size your lead is in fractions, you can just convert that to decimals. Um, so we are going to get started. I am going to open up Photoshop and just open up any pattern that I have and I'll show you exactly what you need to do on the computer. Sorry, it's my cat. Um, and then I'll also show you how to use the dowel calipers. Um, if you have them, you just need to make sure that they are calibrated and not broken, but you really, you really don't need them. Um, I guess it would just be necessary if like you didn't know the width of your lead, but if you already know that, then no big deal. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial on how to use dowel calipers to measure measure your lead if you don't already know the size. So right here I have 732nd um, H round cane. So what you do is just take your dowel calipers and roll them in until it stops. So this is 217 thousandths and 730 seconds in decimals is 218 thousandths. So that's how you can use those if you ever needed to, if you like bought somebody's lead um, and wasn't sure of the size, that's how you can quickly measure it and get your decimal for uh, Photoshop. Okay, so I have Photoshop open and I have my pattern selected, which I'm using this flower pattern and I've selected all of my black lines with the magic wand. So the next thing that I'm going to do is zoom in a good bit and I'm going to hit select, modify, expand and this is a little bit of a guessing game with the pixels. So you have to start somewhere and then you can just keep adding one pixel as you need to because it's gonna just keep expanding on itself. So I'm gonna start at eight pixels and hit okay. And then I'm gonna take my line tool and measure all the way across. So that's 110 thousandths and I'm going to undo my line tool. So I need to make that a good bit wider to get to 218. I'm gonna hit expand. So it's gonna keep building off of the lines that we already have. So I'm just going to add one pixel and I'm just gonna make my way. So that's 125, do the same thing, select, modify, expand. I'm gonna add two and see what that does. Measure it again, what, 140, undo line tool, select, modify, expand. I'll add another, let's add another two. Okay, and that's at 165, 160-ish. Undo the line tool, select, modify, expand and I'm just going to add one and see where that gets me and measure again. So that's 175. So as I get closer to my number, I just keep adding one. Um, it's takes a little bit, but eventually get there. Undo, select, modify, expand one measure all the way across. Okay, so that's right about 200. So let's just add one more and see what that does. If it's a little over, that's not really a big deal. Um, see where that puts us. 
That's 205. I want to be a little bit wider than that. So I'll add one more. Okay, let's see where that got me. To 10. I want to be wider than that too. <laughs> yeah, see, this, this does take a little bit, but eventually get there. One more. Okay, so 225. All right. So undo that line tool. And then the next thing that you're going to do is go to edit, stroke, and then on the center of this pixel line is where you're going to have your um, outline be drawn. So you can make it four pixels wide. You can make the line as wide as you want. I think I'm just going to do two. And then from the center of this line is where they're going to draw the guideline. So you can have it on the inside or the outside. So let's see here. Let's just do the center. I, I would probably do the outside too. Um, but let's just see what it looks like. And then just take the inside measurement to inside. That's at 210. So I probably could have done the outside. So let's just do that undo stroke and then let's just go to edit stroke two pixels and then outside hit okay so now it drew those lines on the outside and that's 215 so that's pretty close i could make it a little bit wider so i could actually like see it on the outside of the lead but um it does take a little bit of playing with whenever actually making it but now you can see, after you zoom out, that you have all of your lead lines marked out. So whenever you print this out, you'll have everything already marked out for you. So as you're assembling your pattern, you can actually see if you're um, staying in the right measurements, if it's a piece that's too wide, or if there's a spot that's like going all wonky on you. Um, you can actually watch yourself assemble it instead of like guessing if your lead line is underneath of you in the right spot um you can actually see that on the outside of your lead line you are um guiding yourself to the end of your pattern so with that being said you can check out my website it's kingdomcreativeglass.com um i am going to be having a shop update very soon on moons i've been making and also the leafy trio suncatcher and in january i will be at the monroeville convention center here in pennsylvania for the home show so you can come and see me at my booth but um yeah make sure you subscribe to this channel if this helped you at all um leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions so i'll see you guys in the next one bye